All right, guys, it's another package. So let's get into it. What's going on, everyone? It's Rich Haywood here for Bacon Ice Cream Productions and Team RTFC welcoming you to yet another episode of Good Times with Hunter Rich. Yeah, that's right. We are still here in Studio B, and the unboxings will continue until there are literally no more packages, and there's still more. <laughs> so, so that's it. Um, <clears throat> I hope you guys are... Uh, doing well. This package on the other side of this thing says internationally tracked and royal mail. You guys know what this is. You should know what this this means by now, right? Yes, that's right. It's another fun deal from Funstock. Part of the last of the year of the cartridges ready to be opened on the old Evercade. So let's go over to the open zone and check it out right now. Let's go. All right. Here we are in the open zone. Let me get this stuff out of the way. Random phone things in the open zone. All right, there we go. Here it is. Here's the package. We're going to rip it on open. And, um, you know, like, like most packages from the land of Funstock, um, we absolutely have two packages to open. Um, and this one is the bundle. So it should also have uh, it's, the pin set or something like that in this one. Find out. Right, so we got that. We got that. Nothing more, in there. Nothing more in there. No cool fun stock uh, little thingy there. But there we go. See? A little pin set there. And then we've got Good Boy Galaxy, Witch and Wiz, and Demons, and an Astroborg, and Astabros. So there we go. We've got all of that ready to open so let's get into these things we're going to start with uh good boy galaxy and which it is because i'm actually pretty excited about that so that's 36 this is 35 so we're going to do them in in order as well as we let these stare at us so 8-bit and 32-bit games is what it says on the good boy galaxy which and whiz combo pack um these games are like the i guess the lighter harding pair of the two, uh, where Demons and Astroborg and Astrobros are, are going to be a lot more like a heavy action oriented. Get this out of here. So I'll take a look at that. I think really cool art. And that whole Good Boy Galaxy thing, definitely evocative. Uh, Peggy 3. Those are uh, straight up E for everyone, I think. There we go. There's the, the, the uh, spine there. And then on the back, two grand Evercade adventures await. Um, Take to the stars with 32-bit exploration platformer Good Boy Galaxy. Tax your brain with the tricky 8-bit puzzles of Witch and Wiz. There you go. Good for everything. Still works on the Evercade original. We haven't found one yet that doesn't. And then let's uh, pop this one open. And look at all that. That's, in, that's cool stuff in there. There's the cart. We'll have a look at the cart. There it is right there. Hanging in there. It's pretty cool. There you go. Good Boy Galaxy and Witch and Wiz. There you go. Not too shabby in the looks there. And we got this. That's a shame that it kind of like got creased. But this does look like a poster. And it's a poster for Witch and Wiz. And then I guess this one is Good Boy Galaxy on here, right? No, it's just Witch and Wiz. Look at that artwork. That's really cool. That's very cool. Hand-drawn game guides. All right. And look at that. You get all sorts of cool stuff. I think these are actually like hints for the game. Do you want to take a, like a screen cap of that or something? That's kind of neat. Oh, look at that. A burger dog. That's pretty funny. Some cool little, cool little stickers. Look at those. Those cool little stickers there. That's pretty neat. And then um, I guess they just went with the new ones that just have like the little, look at this. It's like the little, uh, the little manual when it flips. Huh. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. We'll check these out as we do. Which and whiz. Got the story there. Got your player settings. Very cool. Very cool. Abilities. 
there's the walkthrough. Kind of walks you through and tells you how to do things in the uh, in the chapters, all the way through chapter one, it looks like. And then, oh, oh, more stuff for Good Boy Galaxy than there is the other one, I guess. So then there's Good Boy Galaxy. Cool. I really like the artwork on here. These these manuals are actually really, really well done. I definitely appreciate still getting manuals in packaging. Um, it's really cool. I really like it. I was looking at all of the different things that you can get. The mobility set, the rotary shield, the red beagle, pause, pause SOS, that beasties large and small. There we go. And a little comic, which is cool. In the middle there. With neat artwork. No, you can, there you go. It's pretty cool. It's definitely pretty neat. I can't wait to dig into these um, and get done with those fun for fives and do all the catch up for the fun for fives we need to do. Like it's just, it's just crazy. It's absolutely crazy. And then again, back with the well, this this one, <clears throat> the it was the the tight snappy, but these this one doesn't snappy snap as much. Um, as the other ones, they they hold together though, so they are still holding um, pretty pretty decently together. So we'll just do that and try to get it out of the lights that are shining down. All right, let's go to demons Astaborg, demons of Astaborg and Astaburg. It's kind of cool. All right, as so we dig in here, these are both 16-bit games, with obviously two games included. Get this out of here. Pretty neat. Take a little quick look. Can I get close to having it do something? I think it's too shiny. Doesn't want to. Doesn't want to hone in on there. There's your 36, your spine-looking thing right there. All right, from Neofit Games or Neofit Studios. Live the 16-bit legends of Astaborg on the Evercade. Take on demonic hordes of demons of Astaborg. It's challenging platformer action and brave the ever-challenging dungeons of Astaburgs to discover the origin or origins of Astaburg. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Really neat. Again, works on everything. Is Peggy 12 for fighting and... And spiders? I don't know. I guess spiders make it more... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that's weird. Um, <clears throat> there we go. There's the... The artwork there on the on the game cart is pretty cool. And there's the Astaborg. Nice and big. Nice and big on there. It's pretty cool. All right, awesome. And we'll go ahead and check out. You got Mini Manual again. Mini Manual. And then there's the Evercade EXP level, a virtual gaming level up. You know, <clears throat> I mean, I guess it's not too bad, but I'm just wondering why. Maybe it's... You know, they got a better deal on printing or something. I don't know. Seems a little weird. And then about Neofit Studios. The story. It's pretty cool. I like this paint. That artwork is cool too. Look at all that. That's neat. That's very cool. I know. Get out of there. Get in there with that. Look at that. Look at all those cool scenes. That's very cool. That's very neat. And then you know how to play with the basic controls, the characters. And these really look cool. Well done on these manuals. I gotta tell you. Again, I definitely appreciate it. We gotta get we gotta get whoever's doing this on, on here. On the Evercast or something. We gotta talk to them. because uh, it's really cool. There's more story. Look at those panels. And even these, even these panels, those are pretty cool. And look at that. Oh, full color. Look at that. Look at that stuff. That's really cool. I can't wait to get into this. That looks really, really neat. And how to play. Looks very Metroidvania kind of thing. Looks really, really cool. Yeah, the dungeons. Door types, modifiers, the camp. And there you go. That's it. And there it is. Demons of Astaborg and Astabros. That one snapped. Very, very cool. And then there it is. That's it. That's the those are the things that we opened. And like I said, the set of pin badges there. You got the EXP. You got the Tate uh, pin and the the actual white EXP pin, which is cool. I have, if I'm not mistaken, I have every single one of these that has ever been made, uh, including the ones that came out of the limited editions and all that stuff. So, you know, it's fun. I don't know. I just leave them in the thing. Eventually, I, I don't know. Maybe, you know what? Maybe I'll uh, do, some, do something with them or something like that. 
All right, cool. Let's go to the uh, the wrap up and, and talk a little bit more about this. All right, so <clears throat> so there we are. Um, rocking these. I think you know what? I don't know. Maybe I'll just like you know do one of those, you know, like hang them up there or something like that. Just stick them up on the wall. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Should I do anything with them? So so like I said, that's demons of Astroborg and Astrobros and. Good boy, Galaxy, Galaxy, Witch and Wiz. I am excited to get in and play both of these, but I am definitely deeply more excited on the Good Boy Galaxy, uh, Witch and Wiz side of things because I really just think that Good Boy Galaxy is going to give me that like Commander Keen kind of like edge. I really think that's that's what's going to happen, and I'll be deeply disappointed if it doesn't. But I'm going to play it anyway. And with Witch and Wiz, I'm like, hmm. I don't know. Like, I just love a puzzle game. So, uh, not to say that I'm not into uh, Demons of Master Borg, Master Bros. Uh, in fact, I'm actually really uh, big on these too, because if I'm not mistaken, these can also be played multiplayer. If I'm not, if I'm, if I'm not misremembering, I think you can play a multiplayer, which would be rad. Um, or even just, you know, like single player. I, I love a good, like, action y, Metroid y, you know, Castlevania y, like, whatever. Just give me more of that stuff too, which is great. And we have them. So 35 and 36, they're getting close to 40, guys. They're getting close to 40. What's going to happen when they reach that? I don't know. That's, I mean, I think we're definitely getting there. You know, 2024 will absolutely have the, we're going to get to the cartridge 40 and the Evercade. That's, that's happening. I think it's also a race to 10. I think that's the other thing too. They're only four away on the computer collection side too with the advent of uh not only indie computer heroes but the third c64 collection that's coming to be coming out alongside of the indie um of indie heroes 3 so i don't know i'm thinking early predictions if i want to throw some out there i'm thinking we're going to get four computer collections at least next year and then four more of these reds so they can get to 10 and they can get to um, 40. And then I don't know what they do with the arcades. Maybe it's the year of the arcade part two. Where they drop a whole bunch of different arcades from like big, big guys. I don't know. That would be kind of neat. And maybe that's like, all right, so we've got four of these and four of those. So that's eight. Um, I mean, could they possibly go to, to ten, 10 more? Do 10 arcades? And then get to 18 in a year, come out. That'd be wild. That's way more than two a month. No, no, it's not. That's more, duh. It's not more than two a month. Um, because that would be 24, of course. But uh, it, could be, it could be done. That could be done. Could we see a year of a big surge? Get to 20, get to 10, get to 40. Hmm. Interesting. Probably not going to happen, but. Yeah, you know, throw it out there at the end of this video. What do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comments about that. About yeah, you know, which one of these did you get? One? Did you get both? Are you getting them all like me? Um, you know, did you get the pins? Do you like them? Uh, I don't know. I just anytime there's a bundle, I just hit the button. I got on Funstock. I know people are like, oh yeah, you could order on Amazon. You could run Video Games Plus or whatever, or Songboard or whatever. I mean, yeah, there's tons of great places to get them, but I don't know. I just hit the button. I got my account. I've got all my all my orders that have been there from Legacy and from you know like the from the beginning times. So I'm just gonna keep hitting the button over on the fun stocks because you know they just do the thing. Anyway, again, let me know down below in the comments. Get in there, have a fun time, get a little discussion going, and then that's about it. Yes, we will finally play games soon. I know the two questions are coming. <laughs> like, you haven't done a fun for five in a while. You haven't actually sat down and played anything. You're just opening boxes. What is this? What is this channel? Yeah, we're, we're going to get there. We're going to play some games. Um, we're actually going to be doing some game playing. Oh, a little tease. We're going to be doing some game playing. Yeah, we're going back this way to the Super Pocket Land. Um, we're going to be doing that very soon in a unique way. So keep an eye on the channel for that. Um, I think it's going to be really fun. And long, long-term fans of the channel might actually know what we're about to do. And I think it'll be really cool. We've got to end the year. Right. Right. All right. So until 
next time. We will catch you next time for some good times. But we're forced, of course. We have to thank all the members of the Good Times Club, like Gunsy20, like John Willig, like Mr. Shua, like Ken LeCure, like the Intellivision Gamer, like Papa Pete, Lloyd Argem, Skeletrex, Phantom Fiction, Chris Westerman, George Games, Crimson Cross, and Pete the Ever Canadian himself. Thank you all so much for being members of the Good Times Club because of your efforts and your support and everything. It just makes this channel keep being the, the growing thing that it is. Um, I am so very uh, happy to have all of you visiting and having all your support. Um, and uh, I really do appreciate everyone, you know, member or not member that are just, you know, watching and hanging out and, you know, leaving some comments and all that kind of stuff. It's really cool to hang out with you guys. So now until next time, we will catch you next time for some good times. I'm Rich and we will see you later. Take it easy, guys. And uh, yeah, go play some Evercade, right? All right, see ya.